All right, guys, this is just a quick random tutorial about remote play, hooking it up uh, your PS4 with your laptop. Uh, check out my other video on how to set up your headset, especially getting the mic to work to play during gameplay. And that's the one I've had trouble in. It was hard to find videos on setting that up, but I figured that part out. But this is just a remote play on how to set it up, download and get everything up and going. Get your remote, get it plugged in all the way access. So it's connected to your laptop. I'm using a MacBook Pro. This is a, what, 2018 version? I think, whatever. Anyways, remote play for PS4 on Mac is what you're gonna search. Usually second link, PS4 is what I use. Click that. And then you're pretty much gonna be on this page. Click download remote play once you go down a little bit. So you got two options, Windows and Mac users. I'm using a Mac right now, so I'm gonna click Mac. I'm not sure how the Windows is gonna be, probably the same same style. Pretty much go down a little bit, click Mac. It's gonna download. Open that. And then it's just pretty much gonna be the download, continue, agree, and then install. I'm gonna just hide it because I have to enter my password. And then, and then once you put that, install software. Okay, done. And then I can just move the trash. Just click this corner, and then go up to applications, remote play, and then you're gonna have this page pop up. So that means pretty much everything downloaded, your controller all set up. Everything's ready, pretty much gonna be turning it on. So you can go check out preferences depending on your computer, connection speed, all that stuff. Uh, sign into your network, boom, that's me. If you wanna clap people, hit me up. I'm not all that, but check it out. Anyways, so resolution, usually people put high, standard, I just do, I've tried high and then it kinda of lags a lot more. Standard, I did it, it's good, but it's not the perfect vision, but it still does the job. Uh, frame rate. I do standard. I tried high before, but it just uses so much of like my RAM and the uh, processing on the computer. But that's uh, play around with it and see. Everybody's gonna be different on that part. So after all that's set up, uh, depending on what you choose. Uh, also going back to this on this part, it's, uh, I've noticed on bigger maps the uh, there's more lag to it. Like small maps like Shoe House, Crash, and stuff. It's pretty much runs smoothly with no issues. It's just, I think on the map, uh, on the map size and stuff like that. But anyways, so going back to this, close it. Uh, click options on the remote, or you can press start on there. So it's gonna just search, and boom. Pretty much, uh, it'll be working. When this is remote play, it'll be also on your, uh, wherever your PS4 is hooked up on, your TV or anything. But pretty much, it does everything. Everything that it does on the TV. So just let me just show you guys. The quality is pretty good, honestly. It just sometimes it just lags and it gets annoying. But uh, I would rather just play on the TV, which is much better. But this is all it is right here. So. Yeah, there you have it. So be sure to check out my video on how to set up the mic and everything going. Other than that, comment, like, subscribe. Peace.